So I've got two mini computers and too little money, and I'm here selling this HP Compact TC4400 tablet PC. Yeah, HP and Compact. It's kind of an odd combination with Compact being a brand and a model, but I'm not the marketing genius that came up with it. It's got a uh, 1.8 core dual processor, 2 gigs of RAM, and a 120 gig hard drive running Windows 7 Professional, so you're not looking at some old XP system here or some Vista junk. It's a pretty zippy thing. You can see it's uh, almost done starting up here now. And uh, there you go. There's the desktop, the shiny default Windows 7 wallpaper. Take a look at the system properties. You can see it's uh, not some phony copy of Windows. It's actually uh, a genuine version of Windows I got from my school. So there's no worries about that coming back to bite you. It's got the Office 2010 beta on it, which uh, is the latest and greatest version of Office. It's a beta, so it does expire in October, but it's in June now, so you've got like four months of use left in it before you need to buy the real version from Microsoft. As you can see, it's pretty zippy. It already started up and uh, ready to go. The beta has no other limitations than expiring in October, so you don't have to worry about like nagging you to buy it or some crap. It's got 2 gigs of RAM, so everything is pretty zippy, and uh, that's the standard amount of RAM the new computer is coming with today. And it's all up to spec on the newest features like Arrow as well, so you can impress your friends with this whole window tab flippy trick as well. So, uh, in case you're wondering, here's what makes this thing so incredibly special. It's a convertible tablet. If you pull out the pen, flip it in the right way, it becomes a digital pen and paper, a canvas and brush, a digital scratch pad, whatever you want. I can pull up Windows Journal here and check it out. It's a piece of paper. Doodle whatever you want on it. Make a notes, whatever the heck you want. It's a Wacom tablet, the same kind that the really uh, expensive uh, high-paid artists use. So it's not actually sensing touch. It's actually sensing pen position. So I can wave the pen around the screen and it knows where the pen is. It's got a couple function buttons so I can flip it around and erase or I can select with the side button and pull up a menu do delete. If you like writing, which I don't, you can write on it and it'll read what you're writing into searchable text if you've got enough handwriting, which I don't. As for battery, it's uh, it's actually got pretty decent battery life. If I unplug this, you can see that. It runs for about an hour and a half, and there's a program on there that keeps it cool and quiet when it's on battery. You can see it just shut off the uh, arrow effects. Plug that back in. It's got an ambient light sensor, so it dims the screen in low light and brightens in the daylight. You can turn that on or off with the function key. And it's also got a fingerprint login, so you don't have to remember a password. Just swipe your finger to log in. You just have to set up a password and scan your fingerprints to set it up. It's also got a little nub mouse for those few remaining people that actually use this thing, somehow. So yeah, I'm just looking to sell this thing so I can pay the bills. I, uh, I do computer repair for a living and it just isn't cutting it. It's been sitting on my desk for a couple months gathering dust and I know someone can give it a good home. Send me an email and uh, thanks for watching.